everybody, my name is Spammels, and welcome to Beowulf, a free-to-play indie horror game I found over on Game Job. There's a link in the description box down below. Reading from the website, Beowulf is a short horror game that puts the player in an unfamiliar house. You may feel alone in this uncanny home, yet there are traces of someone or something else here with us. Let's get into it. So, without any more stalling, let's begin. Welcome to the game, everybody. We are in a very dark room with a doorway, a grandfather clocky-looking thing, and a light. Let's go poke around. Light switch? Pardoosh! We're in some sort of basement? Yeah, that's a lot of strawberry jam on this. I think someone had an accident and then they didn't clean it up properly. Let's just leave that alone, shall we? Now try the door. This door is locked. So I don't know why we are in an unfamiliar house and why we would suddenly appear left and right click objects to pick up and throw them. Oh, I like this. We're gonna have some fun with this, boys. Urgh! Yeah, I don't know why we're in a random uncanny house and why we suddenly appeared in their basements, but that's a thing and space to jump. Thank you for the tutorial on how to play every single game ever. Urgh! I quite like throwing the boxes. What a mess! Urgh! Master box stack of spammels here! Okay, let's see what's back here. Oh. I feel like I'm on a film set right now. Okay, plywood heaven. I'm in another part of the basement. That must be the door that was stuck. Right, chair, you coming with me? Oh! Pathetic! Right, last switch. Bloof. Oh! Okay, well, goodbye, basement. It was great knowing you. I'm going up here now. I can run fast. The clink. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hi, Spamos. It is me. The door. It has been so long. Okay. I'm in the house. We've got a creepy painting on the wall. Looks like Queen Elizabeth, but it's not Queen Elizabeth. But how are you doing? Maybe it is Queen Elizabeth. Well, there's the family. Looking fantastic. I got a bottle. Oh, come on, you can break this. Hang on, hang on. Moving deeper into the house, we came across windows. The sound of static grew louder in my ears as I walked around. And then I suddenly saw a piano. Resisting the urge to push the keys that made no sounds, I pushed around chairs instead as a compromise. Then realizing the book of law would be on by my side, I threw it away and then grabbed a Bible, knowing the G-Man had my back. No ghostly ghoul will ever get me. Ah, boo! <laughs> oh, physics. You're silly. Oh, there should be a ghost that appears in that. That would be cool. Oh, telephone. 999. Nine. Okay, well, that was a telephone, everyone. Remember that. It's a thing. Oh, slidey, slidey. I quite like the slidey interactions and stuff. It's kind of cool. I have hidden. Well, until I get a flashlight, I can't really explore many of these rooms. That door is locked. So, I guess, is there a men menu? There's no menu on this. Okay. Well, let's stick in the light and then we'll explore the darkness a little bit later. Oh! Maybe this is what the static was. No, that, leave that on. Whoever was last in this room left the TV running. Maybe we should do them a solid and turn it off for them. I'm sure they would appreciate this. Unable to find the power switch, I left it alone. It's stupid. Have a book. Urgh. Okay, we found the front door. Requires a key. Of course it does. And that is locked. Okay. So it's that kind of game, is it? Finds the key kind of game. Okay, well, let's speedball this. I'm sure now that I've triggered that, nothing will have changed. There are some more rooms back here, I think. Oh, and this room loops around to this room. Oh, okay. And there's a light switch here. Bloof! Amazing! That is still locked. Can I pull these off? No. Here is a key. I have got a key. Objective. Find the second key. There's two keys on this door. That's a bit stupid. Okay. Oh, the lights just came on upstairs. Well, that clearly means I should go upstairs. Come with me, box! Lead the way! Urgh! Hello. I'm the guy that magically appeared in your basement. I'm here to check on the front door keys. Oh, get up. Get up, my life. I don't like these big mirrors. They're spooky. Hi, bedroom. I must say, your house is delightfully strange. I'm not really a fan of it. It's awkwardly laid out. I'm hiding in your cupboard. No! I'm never coming at the cupboard. Table has a bottle and smash. Well, let's try this doorway here. Oh, amnesia the die to set with their door mechanic back. Ah ha 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 ha. You're so funny, Spamos. Stop it, oh, no, I'm an idiot. I see a light switch. I'm sure nothing bad. Uh, that's an opportunity to have like a real scare. Go into a dark room, hit a light switch, and boom! Something's in your face. Hold left click to rotate. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in. Got the telephone, and there's a lady there. Was that taken recently, or is that relatively new? There's a negative of it on the back, which is interesting. Hang on, I don't live here, but I'm going to answer the phone. Wait, 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 wait. Monster, the phone's ringing! Box, go see who it is. The phone stopped, and the door opened. Suggestive. You have one unheard message. Please enter the three-digit password, followed by the pound key. 
I don't know. Get out of my life. Right, well, let's go this way. Seriously, get in there first. Whee! I think it's going to be okay. Light switch. Ah, oh, thank God for light switches. I quite like that you can turn the light switches on. That just closed. It's locked! Box, I'm so glad you're here with me, but I'm going down and taking you with me. Urgh! Oh, there's some playing cards here. Got a uh, jack, queen, and a king. Oh, there's stuff on the back of them. But a three and an eight. Three, eight, four. Remember that, everyone. Three, eight, four. Someone just tried opening it. Jesus, I don't like that. Um, stop banging! It's locked. That is locked. Can I climb over this? No, there's a door. There's a, of course there's a door. There's a chair blocking the door. That's not a timer. Oh! So, turn both of those on at the same time. I, I need to get into there. So I've got to get that bloody chair to move. Right, can I throw a box at the chair? And poof! I didn't... Crouch! I'm such an idiot! Crouch over it! Oh, there's a book, but I can't read it. Chair, move. Thank you, chair. Bloof! A door's preemptively open. And here we go. Bloof! And bloof! And bloof! What am I missing? Oh! Uh, Jack, Queen, King, 384. Jack, Queen... I got a duty... Is that the Queen? Is that a Jack? And that's a King. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Jack, um... Move! Queen. And king. I'm not paying for that! Well, thanks a bunch. I will be leaving now. And 384. As long as there's lights, I'm happy about things. So don't turn my lights off and we'll be just fine, okay? Uh, boop. You have one unheard message. Please enter the three first unheard message. Wrong number, jeez. What, what, what happened there? I did 384 like so many times, but now it works. Well, whatever. So Chainsaw McGee came round here and there was a screaming lady. Clearly the television was too loud. That's what that was. And that door has now opened. So let's go check out that door there. Hi, TV. Yeah, let's go into the darkness of a basement with my space jump. Okay, this with my box. Where my box? Get in here, boy! Box, you're going where no box has gone before. I will never forget you! Boo! That's a long stairwell. Okay. Let's charge down full speed. Oh. Baleful! A game by Cork Smock and Dalton Coots. Hi, guys. Well, that was Baleful, everybody. How do you feel about that? It was okay. Like, I mean, it needs more work doing to it. Let's start with the positives. I liked the puzzle. Like, it was kind of cool. The picture frames, they're getting the Jack Queen King, and then the numbers on the back, the telephone part of it. But then the telephone seemed very buggy or broken because I did that number several times, and it didn't want to work until the one time it worked. The house itself, uh, it, it kind of has a slight ambience to it, but it's very lacking. The game really needs some sort of soundtrack, some sort of drone or ambience to really, really give it that foreboding feeling. Sure, there's a there's a place for silence in horrors, but this just kind of felt like it was under-polished rather than strategic silence. Game looks pretty. It does look very pretty. The lack of an actual bad guy, that darkness at the end, that was your opportunity for a jump scare. Yes, it would be very obvious. I was expecting it. I was tempted to walk down backwards, but I didn't want to break it, so I went forwards. Yeah, like, there was no jump scare. Like, there should have been something. Like, maybe a light bulb comes on, and you see a chainsaw, and you see a room full of blood. Like, suggestive of that message we heard on the telephone. Because what's the story here? 
There's no story. We wake up in a house that is not our own and we walk through it listening to their stuff. We was looking for a door key. We never found the door key. There's a no escape for us. Everything is just a bit of a dead end is, I guess, is what I'm getting at here. There's no satisfaction of climax of this. Anyway, I'm going on. I had a nice time. That's something I should definitely mention. This was enjoyable. Whilst it's lacking, I had fun. But anyway, I'm leaving it there. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description box down below. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.